What's up guys? So went to the gym early today. Had a day off, so I figured I might as well go to the gym. Um I guess lately I've been trying out fasting a little bit just uh to see how my body reacts to it or whatnot. So last night for dinner, I had dinner at around 8.30 and haven't had anything to eat since then, so that's been about 16 hours or so it's gonna my first meal is gonna get delayed a little bit longer because I still have to go to uh, vitamin shop to get some more quest protein make sure you guys check out quest if you aren't checking out a quest they have the best stuff best protein and I believe in really good products like the quest bars and all that stuff so go check them out I'm not sponsored by them I'm just saying go check them out because they, they are a great company they actually believe in a lot of stuff I believe in so uh, that's why I use them um, so yeah, gonna go to vitamin shop, get some more Quest protein. Hopefully they have cookies and cream protein whey, which I just saw last night. It's brand new. They probably don't, but if they do, I'm definitely gonna pick up a tub of that. Um, so yeah, everything's been going good. So I just got down at the gym, like I said. Um, I did, I did a pretty light workout. I did about four exercises for chest, uh, two exercises for triceps. I uh, didn't do abs. I'm going to save abs for later tonight before I go to bed. Or maybe two hours before. Because if I do them right before I go to bed, I'm not going to be able to sleep. So probably do them like two hours before I go to bed. Um, other things I have to do today are go to Sam's Club to get more egg whites. I ran out of those yesterday. Uh, probably get almond milk when I'm there. I'm not too sure. The problem about where I live, it, what really bothers me is that I love shopping at Safeway to get my groceries. I just love Safeway. The prices are always on point. And then, you know, you know, like one, once you find a grocery store that you like, you have to go to the same one every single time because you know exactly where everything is. You don't have to spend extra minutes finding stuff. Go in there, get your shit, leave. So that's why I like going to Safeway. The only problem is, is that Safeway, I guess, is considered south of my house. And Sam's Club and Walmart are north of my house. My house is right in the middle. So I think as as of now, I'm going to leave and go to the vitamin shop, Sam's Club, and Walmart, which is north of my house first. And then I'm either going to stop at the Chipotle by those places, or I'm going to go to Safeway and then go to Chipotle. Um, most likely, I'm pretty hungry, so I'm going to go to those three places, Chipotle, then home, and then I'll get go to Safeway later on in the day. But, uh, so yeah, so as you saw in the very first clip, I believe, I, I weighed in this morning at 181.8, um, which is good. I mean, with the holiday season coming to an end, my I was up to like 188, and that's just an excess water weight and all that, you know, candy and all that cookies and all that shit I've been eating. So uh, I'm back down to about, yeah, 181.8. Um, I believe my body's like normal weight or that it normally was before my competition was 178 I like stayed at 178 for months and months and months um, I do feel stronger um, so I feel like my I'm gaining muscle mass so I think my weight now is gonna probably s stay around 180 which is good because um, uh, for my next competition that I do I'm gonna want to be at 170 I don't want to go anything lower than 170 so if I can stay between 10 and 20 pounds of uh, my co my goal competition weight, that's going to be perfect because that means I'm not going to have to cut for three months. I'll probably just you know do a six week cut, and uh, that's going to be it. So I'm going to head on out of here. Uh, go to Vitamin Shop, get protein. Go to Sam's Club, get egg whites. Walmart. Do I have anything at Walmart? Um, I don't believe I need anything at Walmart. Maybe some uh, cooking spray, but that's about it. And then I'm going to go to Chipotle. So I will check in with you guys next clip. Woke up a little late today. It was my second day off in a row. Well, I have Sunday and Mondays off, so Monday is today. And uh, normally on Mondays, I like to get things done around the house. I like to do laundry. I like to go grocery shopping for the week and all that stuff so 
I went grocery shopping. I'm going to show you guys what I got. So, right here I got uh, four cans or two cans of pinto beans, uh, two cans of black beans with seasoned. Get a little season in there, change up the flavors. I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight Powerade Zeros. I got two, uh, I believe these are like 20 ounces or, uh, yeah, 20 ounces of turkey, ground turkey, Italian season. Got two of them. I got uh, one lightly salted rice cake. I got another caramel corn. I got two uh, cans or whatever they're called of uh, cottage cheese, fat free. Good, really good macros on it. Got two servings of fat free cheddar sharp cheese. And uh, you guys might think that uh, fat free cheese is pretty nasty, but I use it mostly just in my eggs, so it gets all melted down. It all tastes the same, same when it gets melted down. It's a little drier, but I enjoy it. It gets the job done. And I picked up another uh, Red Hot Wings Hot Buffalo. They didn't have regular buffalo, so I got Hot Buffalo today. Um, if you see on the scale right here, it's... Uh, focus. It's uh, it's pretty hot. It's up there. I think the other Buffalo is the start of the orange. This is uh, the start of the red. So uh I'll let you know how that tastes. Probably tastes pretty good. So, and then I picked up 10 of these Greek 100 calorie uh, yogurts. I got five apple pie and I got five of my favorite strawberry cheesecake never tried the apple pie but I love apple pie so that's what it's gonna happen and then I got two packs of these uh, snickerdoodle skinny cows I normally get these eat about one every night before I go to bed just a little dessert healthy dessert or whatnot and then the big steal of the day is right here I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve boxes of Special K protein cereal. Now, normally, these boxes of cereal cost four bucks, but Safeway had a good deal going on. Is that if you bought four more boxes, they were one sixty-six each. So that's amazing deal. So I got twelve of them. I'm gonna stock up. This probably lasts me about probably about a month month and a half normally go for like two boxes a week um so yeah that's gonna do it so all of this let me get you my receipt here gotta see what this is so my total oh yeah my total right here came to seventy seven dollars and twenty six cents and i saved with the sales forty-two dollars and four cents, which is uh, thirty-five percent savings. So uh, that's pretty good stuff right there. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, all the stuff, yeah, seventy-seven dollars. I probably spend a hundred dollars a week on food. That's about what I budgeted out to be. Uh, end of last week, I picked up egg whites and almond milk, so that would probably round it out to a hundred. So uh, yeah, if you shop with a budget, save a lot of money. I just budgeted out $100 a week on food, and that, it la lasts me, you know, a week, a week and a half, two weeks at some time. So, so yeah, so I'm going to put all this food away, eat my breakfast, and I'll show you guys what I'm eating next clip. So, since this is my <clears throat> first meal of the day, and it's already almost 1.15, um, decided to step my carbs up just a little more. So, I put uh, a little more cereal, uh, protein cereal, in this bowl here. Um, I don't measure at all. I just, you know, eat in moderation and eat healthy. So, and right here I got uh, egg whites. It's probably like four or five egg whites with uh, a serving of fat-free cheese, Old Bay inside, and the hot buffalo sauce on top. And then right here I have probably it's probably a half serving of cottage cheese, uh, fat-free. So that's gonna be my breakfast slash lunch slash late lunch. But uh, I'm gonna eat this and uh, talk to you guys next clip. What's up guys, so just got back from the gym, hit a chest, tricep, and ab workout. I did about four or five movements for chest. I did three movements for triceps, and I did two movements for abs. Now, a lot of people say, oh, why do you only do two movements for abs? Well, you don't gotta go all hard out. You don't gotta spend, spend 30 minutes on abs. Abs are just one central muscle group in your body, and they require 
the same amount of attention as any other muscles do. So you don't have to go overboard with them. You just have to hit them and hit, hit them well. So I do two uh, movements for abs. I do crunches with the tricep extension rope, just going down and up. And then I do uh, um, take the plate on your side and just bend over to get your obliques. So that's about all I do. So um, so yeah, so I got dinner going right now. I got uh, turkey patties in the oven. I'm gonna eat some green beans on the side. Um, so that's gonna be dinner. Probably have about 12 ounces of the turkey patties and probably a whole can or a, I think it's like a 16 ounce can of green beans. So do that. Um, and yeah, so that concludes this vlog. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, a lot's going on. I find out tomorrow some good news, and I'll share that with you guys later. Even if it doesn't end up being good, it ends up being bad. But hopefully, it all goes through. So I'll let you know about that later. Um, and uh, thank you guys for telling me that um, I inspire you to lift or I inspire you to eat healthy because the feedback I get from you inspires me to keep on doing what I do. So even though you think I'm, what am I trying to say here? So even though you think that I'm helping you, your feedback, comments, support is really helping me and helping me stay motivated through my journey and my journey is going to keep on going the rest of my life with active fuel fitness and being the best who I can be. So, uh, check in next week and, uh, for the next vlog and I will talk to you guys later.